Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to solve an interview scenario that was asked recently. So that is how to reset, uh, how to create a reset filter in Tableau. If you have more such scenarios, do share with us like this subscriber has shared. Let us thank them and let us get started without wasting much time. So all you have to do is assume I have a dashboard, something like this, and I have multiple filters in place. Like say I can play with my stage with whatever I want and I can select and same likewise i can choose my city so my dashboard is getting updated according to that so now the challenge is i want to click create an icon something like this when i click on that it should reset all of that so for now what i've done is i've taken a simple sheet a worksheet where i've created or used a text box you can also use images instead of this but i have used a text button here but if you want an image kind of thing, you can simply convert this into shapes and drop this on shape. You'll get whatever the shape you want. Okay, so I'm not going, I'm just going with the text. So I have brought that onto my dashboard and I've kept it here. Okay, now let us try to create this. So the thought that you need to get is uh, the approach using URL actions. So this is one thing that you need to remember when you're trying to implement. So this is one method where I'm trying to solve. If you have alternate approaches to this, do share it in the comment section. Let us see, you know, if you can find out something out of box, but I'm sharing you the most common approach. Okay, so that is add action, go to, sorry, add action and clicking on filter action. And we need to identify what is our source sheet and what is our target sheet. So what is the source? I will clicking, I will be clicking on this reset filter, right? So I'm just selecting only that from my source reset button. Rest I don't want to select. Perfect. Now what I'm doing, I'm selecting all the sheets from my target except re reset button. Right. We want all the worksheets to be impacted. Right. So I want this action to be executed on select. So I'm selecting you can also select single select only. And when I select that, I want to click on show all the values. Now, after this, after doing this, we need to do one more thing here. So click on selected fields here and use whatever the fields that you have used in the dashboard. So we have fields based on category. We have fields based on subcategory. We have fields based on order date. We have fields based on state and we have fields based on city. So this is what my view contains. So I'm selecting all of those which can have an impact. After that, just click on OK and click on OK. Now I'm just trying to select a state here. And then from here also I'm trying to select this. Now. If I click on reset button, it is giving me all the values. Now, if I go to shit, I got all the values. Here also, I got all. So that is how you can solve. But still, you can play with. This is my parameter technically. So my parameter is intact. It is not impacting with the reset button. Okay. Because it is a parameter. But these are filters. So they are getting impacted with when we select reset button okay click on this we got all the values so that is how you can solve this a very useful uh you know scenario i would say in terms of implementation of project as well okay so many times in projects we will create something like this uh something out of box you know to help users you know get what they need so this will be specifically useful if you have multiple filters here we have only two but in real time, you might have, you know, like say six, seven filters, eight filters like that. So, you know, making them one by one and, you know, making them to select a default all will be tough. So instead of that, you can create an icon, something like this. Okay. I hope this video has helped. If it does, don't forget to share your love. Show. Don't forget to share your comments and don't forget to share it across your friends. See you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye and have a good day.